Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology. This time with a unit on testing whether our variable is exponentially distributed. So as we test for a distribution, this usually boils down to performing a non-parametric test. All the non-parametric tests in SPSS can be found under Analyze and non-parametric tests, obviously. And here we have two possibilities. The newer version we can access via one sample and the older dialogues via legacy dialogues and then here for the exponential distribution this would be one sample Kolmogorov Smirnov test, so KS. Let's take a look first at the older version and then switch to newer version. So we click on the older version. We need to select a testing variable here. Let's do this with height and then select down here the corresponding distribution. So we could run this with exponential or we could also run two distributions at once. So we could leave on Poisson as well. If we click OK, we get here the first test, Poisson distribution. We see this is values lesser than 5%, telling us to reject H0 and H0 is it follows this distribution, so it follows a Poisson distribution. So this is not Poisson distributed. The same thing holds here for the exponential distribution, what we actually wanted to do. So here, this is zero as a significance level, clearly below 5%. So we can also reject H0 and know that our variable is not exponentially distributed. Well. Those dialogues look familiar. This is the typical SPSS style. The dialogues in the newer version look slightly different. That's if we go to Analyze, then again non-parametric and select here one sample. This we have to work our th uh, way through this dialogue slightly different way. We first need to select fields and then bring everything to the left which we do not want to analyze. So everything except height, which we want to analyze, we put to the left. And then, because usually he does not test on his own for exponentially distribution, so if I would click run, he would select, in his opinion, the most fitting test. And this for a metric variable usually is a normal distribution. So we need to tell him, in particular, run an exponential distribution test for, our norm, uh, for our exponential distribution and well if we do the same thing for Poisson do the same for Poisson as well. Both can be done under settings and here I click on customize then select the Kolmogorov Smirnov test. And under options I can select which of the different distributions to test for. So here we go again with exponential and Poisson. Click on OK and on run and get down here our results. We see directly we have the null hypothesis, it's a Kolmogorov Smirnov test, and we have the significance levels, which are actually the same as with the old dialogues, because basically he runs exactly the same test. The only nice thing, this table is way more compact, and we directly see here the decision. So with the given significance level of 5%, which could actually also be changed in a dialogue, we reject the H0 hypothesis, the null hypothesis, in both cases. Well, this was the same result as here, but this is a bit nicer to look at. Well, this then already concludes this session on testing for exponential, well, and as well for Poisson distributions. So I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And if you want to see more of this type of videos, feel free to visit the rest of this methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.